students today we have with us mr siva kartik who secured all india rank 63 in gate 2025 with electronics and communication engineering he was our classroom coaching student for gate 2025 so let us have some uh, message to the students who are aspiring for the gate 2026 okay congratulations uh, kartik okay thank you. so briefly about yourself good afternoon sir uh, i am kartik and i am from hyderabad and i completed my schooling and intermediate from sri chaitanya uh -huh. and i graduated from jntu college hyderabad. of engineering hyderabad okay very good very and good. i passed out in 2024 2024 after that uh, i have taken one year drop Uh, uh for to for the preparing gate what? 2025 exam gate 2025 okay so coming to your uh, preparation when did you have really started your preparation for gate exam Seriously? during your btech uh, during my btech uh, i couldn't able to concentrate much on gate uh. due to the project work and uh, campus placements campus placements okay. so uh, after my btech from june i have seriously started my preparation uh. through classroom coaching in as academy did you get any campus placements in the college yes sir i i am placed in accenture as associate software engineer uh. but uh, any core companies you attended for placements yes sir honeywell uh, honeywell yeah it's a good company okay uh, but uh, i am rejected in uh, interview interview uh, any other uh, core company uh, i think public Bharat, sector also under yeah. the and uh, bharat electronics also first uh, time came to jntu campus jntu campus uh, okay. i have passed the written test but uh, in interview final round uh, i was rejected okay so you have come out of the college okay so you joined in the month of june you said yes. okay because you are a passed out student uh, what was your uh, feeling that you lost something because your classmates have already joined uh, some other good company like that so yes. how you cope up with such feelings yeah i was very depressed actually after getting 19000 rank and uh, huh. uh, not able so to crack finally the finally you got uh, 19000 rank yeah Uh, final year uh, 19000 rank so uh, i was very disappointed and uh, 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 in linkedin i have seen uh, two persons uh, i motivated from them uh, uh, those two persons are one is lakshmi sai krishna uh, last year he is an a student uh, he also took one year drop and uh, uh, he cracked gate and got uh, all india 10th rank last year okay so i have uh, taken inspiration from him and uh, one more person is ashrita Uh -huh. so uh, she took two years gap and uh, uh -huh. she got in iisc bangalore so she yeah. got uh, all india 36 rank so they were your inspiration yeah. okay your classes have started in the month of june last year then uh, what was your daily routine in the as campus hyderabad kotapet so daily uh, classes were about 6 hours 6 hours minimum 6 hours classes uh -huh. and remaining 6 hours i used to uh, revise the class notes uh, what they have taught in the classroom coaching classroom. just revi revision, revision and practice revision uh -huh. and practice uh, uh -huh. in classroom coaching also uh, in class only they used to give some problems also uh -huh. i used to practice those problems and i in remaining time i i used to practice uh, previous year questions previous year questions mm -hmm. okay so did you write uh, test series uh, topic wise uh, subject wise like that during the class work itself no i didn't write uh, one uh, when you started your uh, test series in december i started with uh, subject wise and topic wise test uh. in january ending i wrote uh, full length mock test uh. so how you have revised the syllabus after gate classroom is over after uh, mean suppose in december or november your syllabus might have been completed how many times you have revised means did you follow only one subject a day or two subject a day what is your strategy so in november ending syllabus was completed november ending syllabus was completed uh. from december uh, uh, i have taken every subject for 5 days so 5 days uh. to totally revise and uh, 
the previous year questions which i have left uh, before i uh. completed all the previous year questions and i attempted subject wise and topic wise test like that i planned for every subject 5 days 5 days uh. so 5 days 5 days Uh-huh. and i used to prepare the short notes also ha uh, daily only one subject or two subject daily start. one subject only one subject five, you start five days one subject uh, so it took almost uh, two months to complete the syllabus yes ah uh. uh. so then uh, written test uh, sorry mock test when you started full length mock test from january 19th january 19th uh, as academy conducted pre gate exam uh-huh. so from that i started uh, what was your performance yeah first uh, i got 50 marks exactly out of 100 out of 100 what was your rank approximately uh, 96 i think 96 uh, so you got low marks let yes. us assume so what was your feeling so at that time i didn't complete uh, communication subject so uh, i means revision is <coughs> not complete revision no, is not completed uh-huh. so i thought if i revise communications i can increase my marks so eventually in the last 10 days i used to get marks between 60 to 70 so you are talking about uh, short notes or yes. micro notes you know yes. so what was your style of preparing short notes so uh, the important uh, points i used to write and, uh-huh. and uh, some standard models will be there in uh, 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 every subject uh-huh. so those standard models only they, uh, they will repeat okay so so, uh, so i used to write those standard models and uh, some uh, tips and some formulas like that i used to write for every subject what are your favorite subjects my favorite is uh, analog circuits analog circuits because of the way uh-huh. the sir taught it kiran sir kiran sir he taught uh-huh. very beautifully ah uh-huh. so which subject might have featured you maximum marks in the gate exam um, control systems control systems uh-huh. almost every question i wrote correct every question perfect, perfect. how many marks you got the so rank is 63 marks marks are 68.68 that's all uh-huh. okay what was your uh, in your uh, gate 25 first ranker how many marks you got normalized 82.3 i think 82 okay so um, where you have committed mistakes i have done many silly mistakes uh, so even though i know the answer also i have done many in silly which subjects mistakes. all subjects mathematics uh, even uh, uh, a person who got 20 marks also who would have done correct only that question means is it by oversight or over confidence yeah, due to tension in the exam tension <laughs> why tension Uh, because uh, uh, after uh, first uh, i have attempted aptitude it was somewhat tough only after it was tough aptitude uh, aptitude it was some logical so uh. actually it was very lengthy not direct uh. so i i am i was getting wrong answer and uh, again i used to see the question and again uh, in the second attempt i used to get correct answer so 30 minutes went for aptitude and then i went to technical subject so uh. after seeing first question it was very easy question uh-huh. so uh, i recognize that uh, paper is very easy so in that tension uh, uh, i have done many mistakes okay anyway maths and aptitude uh, you attempted the first, uh, first phase itself uh-huh. okay so do you have any strategy of attempting uh, one mark questions first second two mark questions later or easy questions first or tough questions what is was your strategy i used to go question by question only question by question suppose you are unable to understand uh, a question then i used to skip the question if the question is very big also i used to skip the question uh afterwards uh, i used to come after completing the 65 questions i used to come if, oh. if, if i if i am taking more than 5 minutes on a particular question i used to skip the question uh, did do you used to approach your faculty in case of any doubts you yes, had yes sir the faculty is very uh, the, the any doubt we ask also he, uh, they used to tell even silly doubts also they never scold me and uh-huh. they have taught me also they they helped you a lot uh, helped you helped me so anyway now you got 63 rank uh, what is your goal to join a psu or uh, to do mtech uh, i want to do mtech in uh, iisc bangalore or iit madras which is specialization uh, mvlsa or uh, integrated circuits and systems Achha. are you interested in that subject mm, yes sir okay why not public sector public sector uh, <laughs> i don't i don't know okay so anyway uh, which how many iits you apply till now i have applied for five iits iits uh-huh. uh, iit bombay iit madras uh-huh. and uh, iisc bangalore and iit delhi iit karakpur 
So, what is your first option? IIC Bangalore, IIT Bombay. IIC Bangalore. IIC Bangalore. So, people say that it's mostly research oriented. But uh, placements are also very high and uh, every good. every year they are uh, they, they are getting hundred percent placements. Okay, Baba. In public sector, you may get eighty lakh package. Yes. Some campus placement, you may get twelve or thirty lakh package. Let us assume. Yes. And still, why you are preferring? Because in TSUs, what we study, uh, it will not be there. So I am interested in analog circuits and uh, digital. She so. want to shift pure core side jobs. Ah, pure course. Okay, that is your intention. Yeah. Okay, in PSC, people say that it's more marketing, management, yeah. administration, yes. less uh, technical. Mm -hmm. That's that is your feeling, uh, I think. Mostly there will be communications and uh, uh, okay. that subject. Analog circuits, uh, it will be very less. Uh, anyway, uh, Mr. Karthik, in the B Tech, you have spent so much time on projects, placements, etc. You said you got nineteen thousand rank in your final year. If a student wants to get the best possible rank in his final year B.Tech itself without compromising on the placements, projects, what shall be his preparation strategy in the B.Tech uh, right from B.Tech first year itself? So conceptual understanding is very uh, first thing we need to build very good conceptual un understanding more than the formula should be second priority. First, we need to understand the concept mm -hmm. and then uh, we need to uh, uh, solve all the previous year questions to analyze the pattern mm -hmm. and we need to give the test series. If if we can uh, do these three things. They what can is the get, right time for them to start the preparation? From first year they can start. They can. They Which can start. subject? Suppose in from first year, mathematics. Mathematics and aptitude they can start. Just understanding what is the pattern of date and uh, applying what they studied in BTEC first year to that that's all yes. see in every college they will have a, a good library they will you will find sufficient material for yes. uh, the competitive exams to which you want to attend every college will have all so many online free resources are available nowadays okay right so what is the right time to start preparation exclusively for gate exam Mm. From second year, they can start. They can start. From second year in BTEC subjects also, electronic devices. They start. They, they start. Uh -huh. So, parallelly, you can uh, start the uh, subjects. Are you interested in engineering's exam? Yes, in, in June, it is there. You are writing prelims. Uh, yes, I am writing prelims. Okay. Anyway, uh, for the completed students, definitely they will have a little bit, uh, uh, means, uh, little bit, they may be depressed. Yes. So, what is your suggestion to them? After getting 19,000 rank, if I can get below 100 rank, 63 within, rank, within, <laughs> within six you? months, <laughs> why not? You you can also get the rank. Very good. Very good, Shiva Karthik. Uh, congratulations once again. Huh? Thank you. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you.